Hey everybody, Scott here for the Digital Guitar Playground. It's Sunday. The hell am I doing on a Sunday making a thing? I tell you. Well, we have some unprecedented snowfall here in Austin. That's why I have the window open, so I'm getting all this ambient light today because it's beautiful. I'll, I'll uh, turn the camera that way in a minute and show you. This is crazy. This never happens. 15 years is the first time this has happened. We've had tiny little pieces of snow before, and then we had an ice storm once in 2007, but nothing like this. Ooh, it's been all day. Good times. Today, I am going to show you... Oh, where is it? Let me find it. It's right here. Oh, 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 oh. There it is. Another rock stock pedal. The dual switch. And this one you need a TRS cable to uh, work it in the uh, foot switch input on the back of the HX stomp. But... Uh, it, I'm going to show you the way that I'm using it, and I think probably the best way to use it, because it'll expand your switches. It'll uh, enable you to not have to have a tap tempo switch on your HX stomp. You can have it separately here, and then also control the uh, bypass and, uh, you know, bam, on off of, uh, of an effect. Shall we? All right, here we are at the stomp. Now, what I have done with the, uh, the rock stock switch today is I've set it up so that it turns off huh, the delay. And then also the right switch is tuner mute and tap tempo. So to do that, it's really simple. Just go into the uh, global settings. First thing, in preferences, got to make sure that uh, FS4 and 5 are set to FS tip and FS ring. Super important. Secondly, we need uh, the uh, switch functions for SS4 or FS4 to be stomp 4 and then 5 to be tap tempo or tap tempo slash tuner. That's pretty much it. Um, I thought that you needed to actually go into the uh, effects and set things up in there. You, you really don't especially if you're using it the way I'm using it today. So what I've got here effectively is uh, four switches now turning effects on and off. And the tap tempo slash tuner button. And I'll demonstrate what the, uh, the tap tempo does to modulation effects. This time I'm gonna use some, uh, a couple of choruses and then my favorite pitch shifter not doing anything with the pitch shifting, just adding it to the choruses and showing you how I, how I love to do that because it's a valuable thing to do and it's a sound you just can't get with just a chorus. So let me grab a guitar. All right, the first one I'm going to demonstrate this with is with the 70s chorus. You'll notice that it's set to one, uh, one, one. So it's not even a half note, it's just a, a whole note uh, subdivision. And it's going to be a slower swirl, and it's going to take more to uh, actually make it, you know, super noticeable. So let me set this very slow. And play a bit. Very mellow, very laid back chorus. Speed it up. Let's see how fast I can make it go. Pretty slick. Now I'm going to add my, uh, just for fun, add my dual pitch. Pretty cool. 
All right, now let's go over to the, uh, the Trinity Chorus. Now this one's set to a different subdivision, so it's going to be easier to make this one really get swirly. So let's slow it down first. Only takes a few hits, two to three. I love that one, along with the uh, the pitch shifter. Now let's speed it up a bit. Even more really fast. What the hell? Pretty cool. And of course, changing, you know, this subdivision is really going to ramp things up. If I set it to quarter note, uh, say by itself, I think I set the other one. Yeah, set that one to quarter note as well. So setting it to quarter note and then Hitting that is really going to get you some swirly action. Make it go fast. There you go, everybody. Another kick-ass Rockstock Pedal Company pedal demonstration. And I'm going to give away this bad boy uh, next week on my uh, Name That Riff, or as part of my Name That Riff. I've got uh, I've got a few of these that I can give away. So over the next few weeks, I'm going to give away uh, this one, uh, a pair of singles, and another double. Good times. So come on back. Uh, tomorrow, I'll do something. So let me... Uh, Grab the camera and show you what's going on inside. <gasps> that is what is up out there. Oof. Oopsie, making noises. Hey, there's a light. Yeah. Good times. Peace out.